in the blind viewers and sorry to all sorry to my mind and my ladies I, the, 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 sorry sorry to you guys I had to go out of town for medical reasons so I'm very sorry for not posting the past two weeks yeah it's been two weeks I'm so 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 sorry you can punish me however you want I don't care but let's get on to the topic this week's topic was to explain how you got into Twilight, who got you into it, or how did you get into it, or, you know, along the lines of that. Well, first of all, well, for one, my best friend got me into it. But, I have to go put down in the clothes. I'll go do that right now. This has to be really, 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 really quick. Um... So, yeah, my best friend got me into it, but I had seen a couple of my friends reading it. I saw, like, a couple of girls reading it, and I was like, I saw the cover, and I'm like, okay, that looks interesting, or whatever. And then my best friend, because one of my other friends got my best friend into it, and she's like, well, she got me into it, but she's like, it's really good, it's really good, and you're going to like it, you're going to like it, and she started talking to me about it, I'm like, but then when she said vampires, I just looked at her like, vampires? She's like, no, you're going to like it. So, um, I just looked at her. And I'm like, okay. Sure. So she drags me to the library. But I don't think they had it or something. Because, well, I have my own copy. I don't know what happened that I couldn't get it. But when I went with my sister to work, I went to Target. And I saw it and I was like, hmm. Then I wanted, excuse me, I wanted a few other things. So I had to go back and get money for my sister. And she's like, here, take the money. Okay, okay. And I went back, and when I got back, I was reading, and I couldn't put it down. I was like, what are you reading? I'm like, vampires. And she's just like, okay. And I just kept reading and reading it. I was a freshman in high school, and right now I'm a junior. So it was like three years ago. It was, so, and I'm still hooked. And whoever calls me a nerd, I don't care. Because I read it the whole series over 17 times. The first book, five times. The second book, three times. The third book, oh wait, the second book, two. Third one, five. Fourth one, five. That's how much I love it. Huh. I'm watching Disney Channel. So, yep, I'm a Twilight nerd. And I'm damn proud of it. Oh. And from last week's topic of reviewing the New Moon movie, one, awesome, so much better than Twilight. Chris is amazing. If he wasn't so old and geekish looking, I would marry him or date him or kiss him. One of those two. One of those. So, yep. Um, just a few things that bugged me. Just a few. Um, well, for one, Jessica. Jessica always bugged me. Um, anyway. Oh, Mike Welch? He's mighty fine. You shouldn't have gotten the 10, though. That's just... The, okay. In the beginning. I didn't like... I liked how they did the whole new moon setting and all that. But I didn't like how I had to read the title backwards. That was just a... Uh, but it was awesome. Um... What else happened that I didn't really like? Oh, the Voltori. They're supposed to go down a hole, people. A hole. Not an elevator. A hole. It's a hole. A hole. But it was an elevator. But, oh. And also, the... Um... I had it in my head. Oh, the airport scenes. Why don't they put that in there? I mean, seriously. They don't just put that in there. But, oh well. A few good things, though. Oh, and the ending. God. I mean, for the people who haven't read the books, they would be like, I wasn't even like that. I read the books and I was like, what? Because he's like, Bella, marry me. And then, whoosh. Excuse my bad sound effects, but like, it goes straight to the credits. I was like, 
But did, what? It was. Okay. Those were the only few things that bugged me. There was something else that bugged me that I can't remember. But I'm gonna go watch it again. Hopefully this weekend. And then I'm gonna go. I wanna go watch it again with my with one of my good friends. So yeah, a few good a good thing good things. The wardrobe. Oh my lord, so much better. The directing, so much better. Kristen Stewart, she was good in Twilight. She was just a little awkward and all that. But in this one, she's like so much better. Um, the wolf pack. Oh my god, Alex Mraz is hot. I'm sorry. Vampires. Vampires, vampires, vampires. I'm team vampire. Team Edward, team Al. Alice! Alice is so awesome. It was awesome. Um, Jasper, oh, so cute. I loved it. Um, the whole scene when Alice and Jasper are about to leave after they gave Bella her birthday present, it's like, damn it, Jasper, not the mo mood control or something along the lines of that. And he's like, and he just smiles. Oh my god, that's my husband right there. Um, what else was good? Everything was just good. Just a few little things. And I cried. I cried twice. I cried. I thought I would cry when Everett left, but no, surprisingly I didn't. Because every time I watch the trailers when he's leaving, I get choked up. But then when I watched it, I was like, I was just, I was just making noises. But when um, Sam finally brings her home, like he's carrying her and she's like, like that, I just bawled out crying. I was like, I was crying. And then the second time I cried when they're finally together. Everyone and Bella are finally together. I cried there. I only cried twice. I thought I would cry more. But gosh, like, I think all the Lion and the Lamb ladies have said it. But just to repeat it for you all, Bella is a whore. Damn. I'm considered a whore. Cause I'm technically Bella. I trip, I act goofy around my crushes, and I'm, I'm just like plain like her. Oh, that's another thing that was awesome. The the whole Alice vision thing. That was that was that was awesome. Except they didn't make her sparkle. They didn't make her sparkle. Um, oh, and then in the middle scene, that was another thing that bugged me. I'm sorry, I just can't, I, um, changed my subject. But, um, when, in the mirror scene, in the beginning, where they're going to, supposedly when Bella is a grandma, um, but, um, Edward's only half sparkling on this side, on his right side. So, yeah, it was, but other than that, it was really good. I loved it. I want to go see it again. I'm like, Cause I'm going with a I'm going with a couple of friends that aren't Twilight fans. Like they had, they came with me to go see the first one, and they, for one, it was technically a date, but don't ask me that. So they left to go get popcorn, and I stayed with the guy. And then they want to go see it again, so I was like, they wanted to go see New Moon, so I was like, they're like, do you want to come? And I'm like, uh, yeah, you don't need to ask me twice. So yeah, and um. So, yep. Yep, yep. So, punish me as much as you want, Lion and the Lamb ladies, or viewers, or whoever. Because I've been a bad one for not posting. And I'm very sorry for that, but medical reasons, what can you do? I mean, I would have posted, you guys, because I was with my brother, and my brother has a laptop. Because I'm on a desktop right now, as you can see, because I can't move this thing. Um, my brother had a laptop and his webcam, but I was near my mom and my mom, my mom and my sister, and I was been busy the whole time, so. Oh well. But yes, punish me as much as you want, but I will be posting as I should now, now that everything's back to normal. So yes, have a happy Wednesday, happy Twilight Day, and happy holidays. Can you believe that? It's holidays. So happy holidays, have a good night, 
I love you all, but I'm hungry and I have to go do homework and I have house chores to do. So, bye.